Hello and welcome to today's lab. This lab video is simple but very important for successfully completing both of your SPSS assignments. It demonstrates how to download the APA template from the Blackboard course webpage and how to edit your frequency tables according to APA format. Remember that all your tables and charts in your SPSS assignments and your final research paper must be in APA format. So let's get started. Within your VCL session, let's first locate and save the APA template available on the Blackboard website. So along the left-hand menu here, choose Weekly Content, and scroll down to Week 4, and within Week 4 you'll find a link to the APA Table Format uh, template. And if you right-click on this and choose Save Target As, you'll be prompted on where to save it. Now I know my my flash drive is in the E drive, so uh, you can either save it to your flash drive uh, or your local hard drive and then apply it when you're in a VCL session uh, on your on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click E and then save. All right, so that's that's it. Uh, the template has been saved to my flash drive. So now that our template is saved, let's see how to apply that template within SPSS. So within your course web page here, let's go down to data. And we'll choose the NES 2008 data set and then choose open and that will start our session of uh, SPSS. So within SPSS we're going to apply the style template, the APA style template by going to edit all the way down to options and then on the tabs we're going to choose pivot tables and then you'll see all the options here for the different uh, style templates for your tables and we're going to browse and remember we saved our APA template in the E drive so we'll choose E and we can Go ahead and select the APA table format and choose open. And then we'll click apply. And then click OK. Now to see if the template was applied successfully, let's just let's run a frequency table on a variable here. So analyze descriptive frequencies and sort our variable by name. We'll choose education in three categories into the variable pane here and click OK. All right. And there we have it. Now that you have the style template, students, let's move immediately to editing an APA frequency table with that style template. Okay, so move right to the next video.